just popularly called Las Gidi is a place for all, a place full of opportunities and a place where you get to meet a lot of people that you've actually never thought you'd meet in your entire life. Well, this is the program that tells you everything about Lagos. Hello and welcome to Good Morning Lagos on Ibilet.tv. My name is Nimat Aleshiloye and to those those with me is... Adewele Ijele. Good morning, Lagos. So, Adewele, how are you? I'm fine. You know, to this man, I do not put the answer on my Adewele Ijele. Okay, well, we are going to tell the people of Lagos what is good <laughs> about Lagos this morning. So, okay. how have you been? How, what has been happening? What has been rumbling? When it comes, okay, something good, entertainment, number one, you can't, you can't leave Lagos out of it. Because when it comes to entertainment, it's Lagos. Then you can take Abuja, Calabar, and all that. Thing. Apart from entertainment, tourism. Mm. Visit Badagri, visit Ekpa, even my place, you could resort to the tourist center. And what there's Lagos, like you said, you are going to meet different kind of people, both yes. good and bad, <laughs> mixture of color. So, basically, entertainment is great thing. Mm. You know, like today, I'm sure something is going to happen here in Lagos. Yes. Tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, yes. definitely don't like other states that you have to wait for. Festive feel from yeah, anything exactly. can be done. Like, Lagos every day is festive period. Yeah, every weekend there's always something going. In fact, so, every day, not even weekend. Every you know day. that there are, there are events that are not popular, but events happen every, every day, day in Lagos. Although there will be an event tomorrow in Lagos, the plot size fashion week. <laughs> yeah, going. No, I'm not going. Because actually. you're not plus size, so I'm you have to stay size, on so just I, just, and I just have to follow up on social media. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be really amazing. Sure, sure. Yeah. A lot of plus size people are going like that. Okay, so I will tell one of my friends like that. Plus, not even plus, fat. <laughs> plus <laughs> size. Fat or attend the event, at least he's not plus. He's fat. Yeah, no good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on a quick break before we start the today for you. Don't go anywhere. Starting of the headlines today is the Punch newspaper, and it states that youth are not leaders of tomorrow, and that is coming from Stella Odua. So sad because I'm a youth. Oh god! But she has her reasons, and it's because I think he's because we're not ready for the future yet. We still feel that because although it, no, see, I can't. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to speak mm -hmm. for everyone, but I just feel that there are a whole lot we could have been that we could have done for this election to have been made possible that the youths will be the one in power. Just like we are just re recycling things. Yes. So imagine Buhari before I was born. Atiku before I was born now. What's become the president of Nigeria? Oh. So let's just pray that the youths tend to learn on time. I they tend cry. to realize their mistakes. Because exactly. that's, that's all that matters. We just need to realize that we are making a mistake. Because a whole lot of youths are the one back in this political party. And if the youths don't back them, not, they, they don't even have a voice. Because we, we, are, just, we are selling ourselves. Most of them, we are selling. God, God my brother, cry. don't cry. I it will. is to be well. If she said, okay, we are not leaders of tomorrow. So when are we going to become leader? Well, when we are ready to hold the bull, the bull by the horn. Okay. 2019. Ondo APC members protest, reject senatorial candidate. ADC insists on Lanyu in Lanyu <laughs> for your governor. Lanyu, sorry. All right, on the Vanguard newspaper this morning, <coughs> activists seek justice for late 13 year old Ogbaje, Ogbaje rape victim. That, is, that happened in Benue West. Yeah, she was raped by the father and son. Father and son at the same time. And what I read, start, see, this thing started from at the age of uh, eight. Yes, eight, eight, eight of nine, age. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, six years. And one thing I want to realize is that the mother of the house was she just ignorant of everything that happened or what? I don't even know. I thought she would have told her. Possibly, I know. How and probably because you know she's not the child of the family, she's yeah. she's, a, she's a relative. So it might just be like, no, 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 my my husband cannot do that. My son can do that. Come on, this is this is getting out of hand. Wow. And so they must really the, yeah. seek justice for her. Exactly, they need to. I was I'm I'm thankful for her. Mm. And lastly, on the Vanguard newspaper this morning, Enugu community demands 50 million naira compensation from government over land. 50 million naira. Just look at where they call the money, 50 million, just like 10 naira. Well, well. That's all on the Vanguard this morning. Please do make sure you pick Vanguard newspaper. <laughs> and for the nation, Boko Haram kills 13 people in fresh Borno attack. 
day after day after day. I thought people like keep said, dying. You are done with Boko Haram. Well, it doesn't seem we are far done from them. Boko Haram, shite movement, everything coming every day. And see, a lot of people are talking about the shites because the moment they don't look into their issue, they will turn it out will to be broken. Yes. Exactly. So we just see, we just need to add facts fast, <laughs> as fast as we can. That's all that matters right now. Exactly. Memories of DSS invasion as Buari Daura old stocks. Wow. And that's all we have for you for this headlines for today. You can pick up any of these newspapers to read more stories on them. And like Adele really will say, he should pick his best <laughs> his best newspaper, which Vanga. I won't be mentioning. He can do that himself. But with that, we've come to the end of headlines for today. Let's go on a quick break and when we'll come back, we'll tell you what is going on with what's up Lagos. Yes, today the Island, Island Club celebrated a 75, 75th anniversary, anniversary and Governor Kiyomi Ambode was there to deliver a speech on the nation building communities, inclusion and prosperity. prosperity. And he said something, very, and that was very, very important. He said, the Nigeria must make sure that they carry everybody along. Yes. And make sure that whenever you are, they, they are carried along, they should at least give them a bit to mm. say something of what they want yes given listening yes listening to their views and opinion that not it's not going to only affect lagos but everybody is going to be definitely sure that it's going to take us away from poverty yes yes i think it's good because sometimes we do feel that some part some particular set of people are neglected in nigeria mm. so you get, like now this side move of it then at least maybe they should sit down and look at let's say what do you want wait is that even a question are they really the thing is that's they know what they want already. What do they want, they want their, their boss to be released. And they feel they should They want their leader to be released. What that's what they want. Zaka, Zaki. Zaka, they feel that if they should release their leader, it's, good. it's just like a threat to the nation. That's their thought. Well, it's, it's going to be a threat. But I think one thing they're after is that they haven't heard for him for a long time. He's been there for, for since 2016, if I'm not mistaken. So they just want to know if this man and is still alive really or not. Okay. I think, that, I, I think the president is going to do something about at least you set up a mechanism to look at this shite movement so they will not turn to the second book around. Yes. But well, f f moving away from what Adiwili diverted into, the Island Cup also launched a car park project which, which should be built very soon in on the island here. Yes, so, and the government really appreciated them for their effort in ensuring that the people of the of Lagos Island are well thought of doing this their process. So with that we've come to the end of what's up Lagos. Let's go on a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome to Decision 2019. I'm Adirile Ijelu. The Imo State Governor, Rochas Okorocha, has said he won't leave the all-progressive Congress for those who came in through what he described as the back door and added that the plan of such persons to take over the party because of the backing of the natu national chairman, Adams Oshomelo, would come to naught. Also, in Lagos State, the Yaba Local Council Development Area, LCDA, yesterday inaugurated the Environmental Monetary Corps to enforce compliance with Lagos State environmental laws. The LCDA chairman, Mr. Kayo de Omiyale said the Environmental Monetary Corps will apply the law strictly without fear or favor. He added, saying, Our environment is clear reflection of who we are as a people. It also determines how we are viewed by others in terms of internal and external hygiene. That's all for Digital 2019 today. Lucky will take you on sports updates after the break. My name is Lucky Audio and this is still Good Morning Lagos. I'll be giving you the sports update today on GML. Um, Nigerian foot forward Samuel Chukwele scored his first senior career goal for Villarreal on Thursday and the first leg round of the 32 Copa de la Rey clash against Almeria, which ended 3-3 at the Mediterranean Stadium. 19-year-old made it 3-1 in the 83rd minute for the Yellow Submarine in his first start 
of the competition this season, having made three UEFA Europa League appearances. That's congratulations to um, Samuel. Um, moving on, Nigeria Super Falcons on Thursday lost 3-2 to, to Dominion Hotspurs in their first preparatory match played at the Atlantic Hall pitch in Ekpe, Lagos. A brace from Etim Friday and another strike from Kola Wali Bashir saw Dominion Hotspur hand the eight-time African Women's Cup of Nations winners their first defeat ahead of the 11th African Women's Nations Cup in Ghana. We believe that they are still going to do better. This is just preparatory matches. Portland Trail Blazers guard Al Farouk Aminu has admitted that the Dick Tigers are still chasing perfection despite qualifying for next year's FIBA Basketball World Cup in China. Am Amarachi Okoronkwo shot the Falcons into an early lead in the 17th minute, but her strike was cancelled out with a brace from 18 Friday to send the Lagos base, sorry, um, in China. And that's all on sports update today in, um, on GML. We'll be looking at what the weather is saying today in Lagos. weather report for today and the state that's one degrees high 25 degrees low 27 degrees at the normal and partly sunny with probability of rain which has a 40 percent probability of rain <laughs> so and that's how this friday is going to look like in lagos so do ensure you enjoy the beautiful moment the weekend is here Thank God it's Friday. Have foreign. It's weekend well yeah, so, yeah, what, what weekend is all about well it's a typical weekend in the Nigerian family is about it's Friday. We, we know you know the work. There's work Friday, sure. and then um, everyone most mostly people go home after work, but some just rest and just go to the, to any social club they find around and enjoy no, and start, and, exactly. So and start that Friday, but Saturdays hmm. cleaning. You clean, you, clean, you wash, you do and, everything, and that is the moment. Then Sunday. It's like you go to church or you relax. Exactly, you go to church or you relax. So Fridays and weekends in Lagos is like it's planned already. Like well, everybody knows what is going on. Short. <laughs> Many man, I do feel it's short. Maybe they should add another day to it. No, it's okay. We are fine with it. We are very so good with, with the timing. All right, and that's all we have for you on the program for today. Join us next week for another exciting episode of Good Morning Lagos. Where I will tell you everything informative, entertaining, and educative about. about the city you love, Lagos, Las Giddy, Africa, one big apple. Oh, yeah! yeah. All right, <laughs> <laughs> and sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on our social media pages at Ibile TV, TV Lagos. Lagos. Drop your comments on our platforms and do ensure you have a blessed and lovely weekend. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.